<laughs> just quietly, Tiki Tane. <laughs> I know, we'll, we'll skip along there. In the, the Isaac Theatre Royal, awesome setting for Tiki Tane Mahuta. Mm, yeah, beautiful. Very surreal for you? Yeah, um, oh, it's just amazing, you know, like um, my sister Nina Kay gave Tane Mahuta Grey uh, my, my album years ago, many years ago. And um, to see it come to where it is now, which is we're standing here on the stage, where in the next hour or so is the pre world premiere of, of Tikitani Mahuta is, is pretty, um, yes, it's a, it's a real feeling, you know. I mean, for, for the cast and crew, they've been working non stop, blood, sweat, and tears at it. And so um, it's just very exciting, and, and it's going to be a great three days. I think I'm going to try and come to every show because it's not very often that a, a, um, a, a dance aerial shows. Um, built around your music, so I'm just going to come to every show and sit there and just go, whoa. And it's organic, I think that's the wonderful thing about it. You, yeah. ha you are the muse yeah. behind it. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just one of the, I guess it's one of the biggest compliments you can possibly get, I think, when people can take your music and create something completely different out of it. Um, so I'm very, um, myself and my whanau are very honoured and blessed and privileged, I think is the word, to have that happen and, and right here in Ōtatahi as well. Um, you know, bringing some love back to um, Christchurch and, and at this beautiful Isaac um, Theatre, so yeah, I'm pretty... We touched on whānau there and it mm. is definitely um, a family experience really, isn't it? Yeah. You can see the passion that's running through the dancers themselves. Yeah, yeah. They're just so, they're just so beautiful, I mean like... Um, it makes me want to go and like, you know. <laughs> well, you got like, up there, you got up there, got so up big there. ups to you. Thank you very much, yeah. but uh, I could probably last a couple of minutes and I'm, I'm going to be feeling it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, they're, they're just, um, you know, they're, they're the best, best at their craft and they just mm. look awesome. And um, yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm quite sort of lost for words, to be honest, really, but I'm just want to soak up the Modi and, and just be out there in the audience and just, just really live in the moment and, and, and how, you know, and transcend the physical and be moved with the journey just with everyone else. And embrace it, exactly. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel that you are a role model? We're in the middle of uh, New Zealand Music Month. Yeah. You are a role model, if you want it or not. Uh, yeah, if I want it or not. Um, <laughs> yes, I, it's, that's, that's a tricky one. I mean, I guess, um, you know, I've been doing this for a while. 24 years, in fact, making music. I left school at 14, started my band at 15, and I haven't looked back. And it's been very lucky to have a, a career that's taken me around the planet. And also, um, um, the success is, you know, I, it's not weighed and measured in, you know, how much, how many houses and cars and all that kind of stuff you have. It's measured in the people that you meet and the, the projects that you get to witness or be part of. And um, so in that regards, I'm very blessed. And if it inspires other, other um, young um, musicians and artists to, to, to try to follow their dream and passion, then yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. But um, I don't go out of my way to try to be um, listen to me and watch me and da da da. You shouldn't do this and don't do that. You know that's not my. You're modest. Post. You're modest, which is a beautiful thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I guess so. I guess so. Um, I'm just stoked to be. Um, you know, I take it right back to my parents and um, to my mum and dad. I mean, how many parents would let their 14 year old kid start a heavy metal thrash band and, <laughs> and then start playing in pubs at yeah. 15 years old? Not many parents would do that, but they could see in me the spark and the passion and the drive, and they knew that, okay, well, this is what he's going to do. You could, they could just tell. So, you know, my parents, and of course, I've got two older sisters who um, are like um, the kaitiaki, they, they run my business and, and manage me, and also, a huge foundations for me to bounce ideas off, you know, because often being an independent artist like this, you're faced to dealing, you're the pointy end of the tire, mm. right? it's like everything, you're right there, so you've got to deal with everything, the press, you've got to deal with the media, you've got to deal with contracts, you've got to deal with everything that comes at you, so having that foundation behind me has kept, um, kept me safe, I guess, yeah. Um, so yeah, very blessed. Yeah, well, we talked about X Factor. Mm. I think you've got the mana factor, my friend. <laughs> yeah, Congratulations you. with Tikitani Mahutaya and to your Fano and thank enjoy you your time much. here in Christchurch. Thank you very much. Awesome. Enjoy the show. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs>